Dr. Leslie, um, um, if parents notice, um, you know, that the, the children's teeth, um, probably the first ones, uh, are stained and they get yellow, they get brown, almost like the one from a smoker, but obviously, hopefully, at least the parent thinks they are not smoking yet. Um, yes, number one, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, what, well, why does those things come from, from children who uh, don't drink coffee, don't drink red wine and don't smoke? Thank you. That, you know, that, that's an interesting thing that you say that because parents come in or they call about that in our office. Uh, when you see white stains in the front along the gum line or you see uh, a white stain in the middle of the tooth, uh, they, if they're left alone, they'll become a yellow or brown stain. And we hear questions on those all the time. What happens is um, if a parent is not brushing the child's teeth well, uh, or if they're leaving it up to the child to do it and nobody's doing it or the child's not doing it very well, then what happens is uh, they'll get a stain along the gum line. And these white stains will develop into a yellow stain, then they'll become a brown stain, and then they become a cavity. Well, anyway, so when you see stains in the mouth, it's a good idea to have the dentist check the mouth and see if that's a cavity or not or if they should be concerned or not. There can be stains in the middle of the teeth or on the edge of the tooth, or the very biting edge of the teeth, and that can be from trauma when the child was younger. Let's say a four-year-old comes in, and they have a white stain in the middle of their front tooth. That could have been from trauma as the tooth was developing when the child was only, like, say, uh, uh, five months, six months of age. Or a permanent tooth. Let's see, a six, seven, eight-year-old has their front teeth in, and they have a white stain right in the middle of the tooth, and the parent says, how did that happen? You know, and if it's round, if it's a round stain or a kind of an oval stain, then many times that's from trauma when the child was about five, six years of age and the root tip uh, touched the developing tooth right on the crown of the tooth so it made that stain. So it didn't come from bad brushing, it came from trauma, okay? <clears throat> In any event, sometimes they need to be restored. You know, if it's an older child, those white, yellow, brown stains in the teeth need to be restored to make them look good again. So when the child smiles, they don't see a stain there in the front teeth. And uh, sometimes they don't. So that really depends on each situation. I see. So stains can come from drama to, to, to the tooth. Well, what kind of drama could a, a, a five-month-old have? I, I didn't even know they have teeth already at that time. Well, they don't, they have teeth that may be coming in, but the teeth that are in the, in the bone, uh, as they're about ready to come through at six, seven, eight months of age, sometimes earlier, uh, they take trauma like they have a fall, they do a face plant, bam, right? And, uh, in doing that face plant, it, it trauma, it pushes that tooth against the other tooth. I see. And then a kind of, uh, so basically it's a bruised tooth. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So uh, also, uh, one thing you mentioned, Helmut, it isn't just from trauma or from bad brushing. It can be also antibiotics. Like for a parent that takes tetracycline or certain antibiotics when they're pregnant, uh, the teeth can come in with a, uh, a real yellow brown teeth look. Yeah. Not many parents do that. Anymore. Moms don't do that much anymore because the physicians are very aware of tetracycline and some of the other antibiotics that are out there that will cause staining of the teeth as the teeth are developing. So some of these are not giving, but, but they can come from other sources too, not just from trauma and oral hygiene. Okay. All right. Wow. We're learning a lot here. Um, we're learning a lot. Thank you very much, Dr. Leslie. You're very welcome.